hello tonight and the five things for better drumming with your hands. All right, so uh, so first what we're going to do is it's going to be an open grip. Don't be grabbing it like this. No, it's going to be just your fingers, okay? Keep it out. Keep it out like this, okay? All four fingers and your thumb. Uh, usually the, the fulcrum is going to be like around the meat of my thumb, somewhere around there. Okay, and you're just going to tap. Like you can see, open hand, tap. Okay, try to use, not your wrist, it's just going to be your fingers and the fulcrum from your thumb. And you're just going to tap. You start off slow or get to a nice even pace and then just hold it. You're basically going to see how long you can go. Now with the left hand, same thing. You're just going to tap. Nice and consistent, as long as you can. And that is uh, thing one. Okay, so after thing one, you have number B. You only need one drumstick for this. Think about it like a basketball bounce, okay? Here, start with the right hand. Just hold the stick nice and, nice and loose, not all tight and not with the fingers like thing one, okay? Like a nice loose grip, okay? And then you're going to take your left hand and usually for me, it's where the shank of the drumstick starts to taper. That's about my, my uh, tap point. And I'm just going to tap it. I'm gonna, again, like thing one, tap it consistently and see how long I can do it or try to increase the, uh, the tempo. So something like this. Try not to cheat with the hand holding the stick. It's kind of natural for it to want to tap as well, but try to hold it. Still, once you get the first bounce going, this hand is doing the bouncing. It's a really good workout. Nice and consistent, nice bounce. And what this is doing is this is getting this part of the wrist all warmed up and you can start getting kind of like a twist bounce when you get going faster. Hand holding the stick is steady and then the hand bouncing it is doing all the bouncing. Now we switch to the other hand. Hold it nice and loose, get the first bounce going, and then this hand starts the bounce right around here. <sighs> Number B. Thirdly, we are going to do something similar to the first workout, but this time, instead of having the open grip with your stick away, you're going to have the normal grip that you're going to have, usually something like this. I think it's called a French grip. And you're going to, again, hold it, hold it loosely here, and you're going to be working your other fingers. And all we're doing is we're going to be pulling the stick up to get that bounce. Okay? We're not doing it with the wrist. Keep the wrist straight and we're only pulling upwards with the fingers. See, the wrist, thumb, most of the index is not moving. It's going to be these three and we're just pulling it. Just moving it and pulling, just like this. Nice consistent beat. Do it for a while until all of your tendons, the muscles right here, start to get tight. And then you'll move to the other hand, just the fingers pulling. Okay. 
See, much like thing one, except now we've got a tighter grip. We'll go in here. Thing one. Thirdly. And lastly, it's going to be what I call the wrist twitch. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You just work on this twitch in your wrist. So you're holding it not tightly, softly so that it can kind of move, but not open hand. And you just try to get the bounce going and then start almost like a, ro a micro rotation of your wrist, a little twitch. And usually it doesn't really work slow. You have to kind of get it a little faster. And then, see, there it goes. This little wrist twitch. So you just do this. Left hand, wrist twitch. It's like a, think of it, it's almost like right, it's on the outside, I feel like. It's on the outside of your wrist. Think about just rotating your pinky area right here to your wrist. Think about just rotating it back and forth really fast, like that. And there you have it. These are simply made and used to be strengthening and giving um, dexterity to your hands to then transfer onto playing the drum kit.